Hi folks, I am solving lead code top 150 questions and that's all you need for your coding interviews. So in this video, we'll solve 18 four sum. This is the extension of the problem called three sum. So before solving this problem, I will really recommend to solve those problems. Here we are given array nums of n integers and we have to return an array of all unique called triplets with sum up to this target, this thing right here. And A, B, C, D, all the pointers should be different. So this is exactly like three sum problem just with an extra element. Let's look at the example here. A brute force approach to solve this could be using, since we need four elements, we can use four for loops, but the time complexity of that would be n raised to the power of four, which is not very efficient. This problem is very similar to our three sum problem. The only difference is we have two elements. So we will solve exactly like we did for three sum. To avoid the duplicate here, we can sort our array. So it will look something like this, and then we can have two for loops. Let's just say i, j, and for the last two elements, we can run our two sum two when the array is sorted. So the time complexity, since we are using three loops, one for i, j, and two pointers for our the last two elements, so the time complexity would be n cube. So let's look at the code on how we can solve this. We can start with sorting our array. Let's have our result variable, and we can also have the array size because it will be convenient. So, so as we said, we will loop over the array twice. Let's do that. And before writing our second loop, we have to make sure that the two elements are not same. So for that, what we can do is, so if our nums at i and i minus one are equal, we will skip it. Now the second loop. Here also, when two elements are two consecutive elements are same, we will just skip it. Now let's define our left and right. So left will be equal to j plus one, and right will be equal to n minus one. While our left is smaller than r. So this is exactly like our two sum two problem. So if total is nums at i, j, l, and r, now we will check if total equal equals to target. If yes, we will push these nums and then we will move our pointers. To avoid duplicates here also, we will have to check. So while our left is smaller than r and then nums at l equal equals to nums at l minus one. If the elements are same, we will increment our left pointer. We will do the same for right as well. If this is the case, we will move our right pointer. This is when we found the element. If we don't, then we'll check if total is greater than target. If this is the case, we will move our right pointer or else we will increment our left pointer. I think this completes our solution. Let me return our res. Let me try to submit it. It does work. I hope you found this video helpful. If yes, you can consider subscribing to this channel. I post daily lead code revision videos. And thank you so much for watching.